What's up guys, Frank Fulci back again with another unboxing haul video. Um, not that much stuff to show off today, but figured I'd do one anyway since I do have some stuff that I want to open and show you guys. Um, let's move this off to the side. Eh, we'll take this off. Now first I want to show off some things that are not in boxes. I actually picked them up in store. Um, not necessarily horror, but I like to show off my movie stuff to you guys anyway, in case some of you are interested. Uh, a couple of things that I picked up from Target yesterday. Uh, first up is the Target exclusive, uh, packaging anyway, from, for, uh, Men in Black International. Uh, it's the newest Men in Black movie. I wanted to see this in theaters when it came out. Uh, you know, it's pretty recent, within the last couple of months. I don't think it was in theaters that long, so it's probably a bad sign, you know, that it, it didn't do too well, I'd imagine. Um, anyway, wanted to check it out, uh, Blu-ray, DVD, digital, and it has, uh, Chris Hemsworth, who we know as Thor, and from, uh, Bad Times at El Royale, and a few other things, and Tessa Thompson from Creed, and also Thor, and a bunch of other stuff, too. So, yeah, there's that, and then I picked up the 4K Ultra of, um, the newest Jurassic World movie, Fallen Kingdom. Another one I wanted to see in theaters, but I didn't get a chance to do that. Uh, I want to rewatch the first Jurassic World, uh, and then I can jump into this 4K. Then uh, last weekend, uh, I ended up stopping by a Walmart, which I don't normally do because there's not really one by me. But I went upstate, did some work uh, at my family's property, and I stopped at Walmart on the way home. Anyway, I picked up the newest Hellboy movie. Uh, this movie is known as being pretty fucking terrible. How bad could this movie be? Um, unless you, like, love Hellboy and it's, like, really not uh, true to the source material. I don't know. It's Neil Marshall who makes great movies. He made The Descent and The Descent 2 and a bunch of other things that, of course, I can't think of now. But he's a great filmmaker. I'm assuming this is the largest budget he's ever had. Uh, David Harbour from Stranger Things. Uh, he's not my favorite actor, but he's very competent. Maybe he's just not a good Hellboy. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below why this was trash. I haven't watched it yet, but I can't imagine it's as bad as everyone says. Next up is a classic that I had to have. Uh, I don't know how good it looks in 4K. Again, I'm one of these people that don't really see too much of a difference between 4K and Blu-ray. Maybe my eyes aren't what they used to be. I don't know. I'm not really blown away by 4K like I was with the transition from VHS to DVD and then from DVD to Blu-ray. Amazing, amazing upscales. You can see instantly the quality change. Blu-ray and 4K, not so much. Anyway, classic from Stephen King, uh, Stand By Me, fantastic. And another classic um, that I actually have never seen, Apocalypse Now. I used to work at a physical therapy office. My boss there would just quote movies all day long all day long quoting movies and like quizzing me like oh you know what that's from and i would say no i don't know what the hell you're talking about because i could have watched a movie yesterday and i still wouldn't remember the freaking lines that you're talking about my memory is not like that this guy just had a memory for uh he knew everybody's name all the actors names all the characters they played the plot of the movie the lines that every actor said just everything you can imagine about a movie that he saw 30 40 years ago he would still be quoting to that day anyway one movie that he used to, that he lent me at the time, he burnt me a copy from DVD that he had, was Apocalypse Now. And I never got through it. I watched like 30 minutes of it, maybe, and it was just, I don't know, maybe I wasn't in the mood, it wasn't for me, I don't know. But everyone loves this movie, it's a classic for a reason. This version, this release, is the 4K Ultra 6 disc set. Now I think it's 3 4K discs and 4 blue, uh, 3 4K and 3 Blu-ray. Um... But it has Apocalypse Now, the final cut, which is what shows on the cover here. Um, then the regular version of Apocalypse Now, which I guess is the theatrical. And then Apocalypse Now Redux. And then also has Hearts of Darkness, which I'm assuming a filmmaker's apocalypse. I don't know if that's like a documentary or what. But it has tons of stuff that I can't really sit and read you. I don't know if this is going to focus... Anyway, if you want to pause that, or you can look it up online. Anyway, tons of stuff, and if I'm going to own this, I figure this is the, uh, you know, the definitive collection to have. Uh, it was like 20 bucks for all this, so not too bad. 
Anyway, let's get into the actual unboxing stuff and the actual horror-ish. These are all arrows, so they're not all horror, but anyway, this first one, this is horror. Uh, this I bought from somebody on a Facebook group. Uh, it's a newer release, I think uh, Mill Creek. Yes, Mill Creek, they're doing this uh, like VHS retro slipcover uh, artwork releases. And this is a new one called, or a new release anyway, not a new movie, but The New Kids. I believe this is a slasher of some kind, or at least that's the vibe I get from, uh, it's pretty sick, uh, different artwork. You know, the slip shows one thing, and this shows another. It looks like a slasher, a high school kid slasher, but, I mean, from the director of Friday the 13th, I'm guessing, yeah, Sean S. Cunningham. Um... Sounds pretty sick, and it, the guy was letting go for pretty cheap. I got it for like seven bucks. Um, Abby McWilliams, played by Laurie Laughlin from TV's Full House, who's in trouble currently in the news. Uh, Nightmare begins when she attracts the unwanted attention of teenage psychopath Eddie Dutra, played by James Spader. Oh, great actor. Turned down for a date. Eddie destroys Abby's home, vandalizes her uncle's car, and nearly stomps her brother, Lauren played by Shannon Presby, her brother Lauren, who is a, which is a girl's name, and the actor's real name is Shannon, which is also a girl's name, to death. But it's only when he kidnaps Abby from the school dance that Eddie shows his true feelings. Fueled by cocaine and armed with a shotgun, Eddie's let lust turns to uncontrollable rage as he takes Abby on a date from hell in this terror-packed thrill ride from the director. So this sounds like fear. Uh, you know, the old Mark Wahlberg uh, Reese Witherspoon movie, which was great also. So maybe this is along the lines. Psycho crush type of thing. Anyway, seems awesome. Had to have that for cheap. Now, the rest of this haul, guys, is going to be these little individual packages. This is how Zavi apparently sends their stuff when you put a big order in. I had no idea that's how they did that because I'm sure I've ordered from Zavi in the past and they didn't do this. Anyway, they had a sale recently on Arrow, similar to the sale they had a few months ago for Arrow's official sale. Zavi had one too, and now they had their 10th birthday sale, and it had to do with Arrow, apparently. So, buy one, get one free. So, I bought a bunch more that I missed during the sale, or that I just forgot about during the sale. And now I have way more Arrows again. This is only, like, half of the ones I ordered. I should be getting a few more, but again, they shipped them separately, and this is what I got this week. So... Let's start them up. First up, this is one that a few months back I, wa I was watching one of the episodes of uh, Last Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs on Shudder. And I had caught just the first couple of minutes of this, but it, his intro for it was like crazy. And he said how bonkers this movie was and all the crazy stuff that goes on in it. And that is Wolf Guy. So I knew when he was talking about it that Arrow had a release. And I thought I had it on my shelves already. But I didn't, so ever since, I didn't get to finish watching the movie on Shudder, and I could always go back and watch it on there, but, you know, me being a physical guy, uh, I wanted to get the hard copy. So, ever since he did that on that episode, I've been thinking, alright, I want to pick it up, I want to pick it up. I went through the whole sale in Arrow, forgot to pick it up, but had my chance now and got it. So, that's Wolf Guy. Next, let's see... This is not Arrow or Zavi. This is Umbrella. Similar package. I'll do that one last. All right. These are Zavis. Yes, sorry. Right. Zavi Arrow. All right, next up from the Arrow sale. Sergio Martino's The Suspicious Death of a Miner. Pretty sure this is a giallo of some kind. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, in the wake of the success of Dario Argento's groundbreaking Giallo, The Bird with the Crystal Plumage, uh, which was his first, so this is probably pretty old, numerous other directors stepped forward to try their hand at these lurid mi murder mysteries. At the forefront was Sergio Martino, whose sensual 70s thriller starring Edwidge Fenech and George Hilton are widely ce celebrated as some of the best the genre has to offer. The final of Martino's six Gialli... Oh, this is a... Later, one of Martino's, The Suspicious Death of a Miner combines conventional giallo trappings with elements of the then-flourishing Poliziotecci crime thrillers. Say that three times fast. Uh, Claudio Cassinelli 
stars as undercover cop Paolo Germi on the trail of a Milanese criminal outfit following the brutal murder of an underage prostitute. But a killer for hire is also on the prowl, bumping off witnesses before they have a chance to talk. Awesome. Sounds like a great early giallo. Let's see if the year's on here. 75, 1975. So that's cool. Next up. All right, this is a newer film uh, put out by Arrow, of course, but it's a new movie, I believe, from the last couple of years, 2017, 2018-ish. Uh, Incident in a Ghostland, made by the director of Martyrs, the original Martyrs, Pascal Laugier. Um, from the director Pascal Laugier, who in 2018 shocked audiences around the world with his grueling genre game changer Martyrs, comes Incident in a Ghostland, terrifying excursion into abject horror filled with creepy antique dolls, murderous maniacs, and thrilling jump scares. The subject of a brutal home invasion, along with her mother and sister several years ago, horror novelist Beth has found solace in her writing, detailing the harrowing ordeal in her latest book, Incident in a Ghostland. But when she receives a call from her sister Vera, evidently in a state of extreme distress, Beth is prompted to return to the isolated family home where the terrifying truth of that awful night soon begins to unravel. Combining the intensity of martyrs with the spine-tingling chillers, chills of his latest The Tall Man, Incident in a Ghostland confirms director Pascal Laugier's status as a fully-fledged master of horror, having scooped up numerous awards on the film festival circuit and now finding its rightful home on Blu-ray with Arrow. This sounds awesome, actually, and I might put it on today. That may be the one I watch today. Um, I don't know why I didn't pick that up sooner. I, I don't think I knew it was by that director until recently, so that's really what got me to check it out. And back to another old-school one is David Cronenberg's Shivers. Uh, I have a bunch of other Cronenberg stuff. Uh, you know, I have the Arrow release of Rabid. I also have the Scream Factory release of Rabid. But I never had Shivers. I thought, again, this was also on my shelves, but I don't have this anywhere. Uh, I won't read the synopsis for this since I've done a lot of reading to you guys already. And, uh, yeah, so that's that. Last in this video is one that you saw me open a few minutes ago um, that I thought was from Zavi, but it's not. It's from Umbrella, and this is one I've been uh, highly anticipating, which is called... Uh, the house that Jack built. Now, maybe all you guys have seen this already. I have not. I've tried to stay away from spoilers. All I know is that this movie is very controversial as of recently. Uh, and uh, people are talking about how crazy this is, how fucked up it is. How fucked up is this, man? We've seen everything in film from now. You know, Salo, Caligula, fucking Serbian film. Like, all these movies, Atroz trauma all these movies over the years and you guys are still being surprised by stuff on movies i don't know maybe i'm just talking shit for no reason maybe i'll be blown away too but whatever this is the supposedly uncut version i know there's a debate about whether you know what's the really full uncut this is supposedly yeah i mean it says complete and uncut here Anyway, this movie's supposed to be fucked up. It's actually really long. Uh, I think it was like 153 minutes or 155. This says 153. Again, debatable. Is that the full cut? I don't know. But uh, the film that divided audiences from cinemas and font terrible, Lars von Trier, who also did Antichrist. I'll check it out. I don't know. It's about a serial killer played by Matt Dillon. And he does fucked up stuff. So we'll see how messed up it actually is. Anyway, that's it, guys. Just double-checking. Yeah, don't have anything else, but it's a pretty decent haul for that small amount of packages I had there. Anyway, a few arrows, Umbrella, Mill Creeks, The New Kids, and a bunch of 4K and cool Blu-ray stuff. So thanks for watching. As always, guys, if you're new here, uh, thank you for stopping by, and thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the thumbs up. Also, hit the subscribe so you can check out my uh, future videos. Uh, I have about 40 other videos you can check out from the last 40 weeks. I believe I don't think I, I don't think I missed a week yet. Uh, so I do do weekly hauls for as long as I'm getting stuff, which may be slowing down soon. I have some things in the works, but anyway, can't be spending that much money on movies constantly uh, anymore. But we'll see. As of right now, I still have a few things coming. I should have some more Zavi things on the way. I think I have pre-orders and stuff through Diabolic and a couple other spots that uh, 
should be coming soon eventually i don't know uh so yeah again thanks for watching thanks for your time and until next time guys peace be good